Hello everyone, welcome to Southern France where ECA Group unveils today the latest addition to its range of autonomous underwater vehicles, the A18M, mid-size AUV for military applications. Oh, this morning you will be uh, seeing a demonstration of our uh, latest uh, AUV, uh, the A18M, M for uh, underwater mine warfare. Uh, so we'll be doing uh, um, uh, survey mission uh, on an area where you will have um, a wreck uh, of a ship called the Ferrando, 80 meter long wreck, and also um, uh, an exercise mine, a mode mine. So the aim of the mission is to um, make the transit uh, towards the area and to do a survey mission and the aim is to gather uh, images of uh, sonar images where hopefully we'll see the, the, uh, the wreck of the, uh, the, uh, the ship and uh, also the, the exercise mine. So the mission started from that uh, point here and then uh, the AOV um, did a pattern in order to try to cover the entire area in order to, to detect possible objects of interest. The payload is currently using synthetic aperture sonar that is a side scan sonar of a new, quite new type that has characteristics of having a constant resolution, what we say across track. Oh, so the AOV came back to the surface, the uh, images, sonar images were transferred using the Wi-Fi to the ship. So we can see now the image that has been recorded inside the vehicle by the system and transferred to the ship using the Wi-Fi. So that is the image of the, uh, the wreck of the Ferrando ship. After processing using our own software, you can see a new image of the wreck there, but you can see also the image of the mine that is just there. And after that, all the data can be stored in a database and then used. If, for example, you can come after a few months, a few weeks, a few years, you can see also whether the mine is still there or not, or whether some other objects may have appeared. The mission can be as long as you want. Uh, depending on the, uh, the endurance of the vehicle, is typically up to 24 hours. But uh, the, type, the duration of the mission itself, the survey mission itself, depends on the transit time and depends on the, the, uh, what you want the vehicle to do, in fact. We are now at the ECA Group's headquarters near Toulon to learn more about the rest of their naval defense product lines. So that was the generation of systems that uh, was developed in the 70s that is still used by numerous navies and some navies uh, still want to use this type of vehicle, AV vehicles, and, uh, but the new uh, generation of systems are what we call, uh, or what is called expendable mine disposal systems that are lightweight vehicles instead of weighing between 600 and 800 kilo, depending on the configuration. These vehicles weigh, um, I would say, typically 50 kilo, and instead of carrying a charge of uh, 100 kilo of explosive that is laid next to the mine, it, it carries a small shaped charge of a few kilos uh, that is used to, to destroy the mine. The system is named Kester, and uh, that is the that exists in, in um, two different configurations. In fact, uh, Kester I for uh, training or identification, and Kester C for the combat version. But we have also a specific vehicle that is directly derived from Kester that is called Siscan, uh, that does not carry the ch uh, a, a, a charge, um, but uh, that is used uh, with uh, long endurance and uh, in order for uh, for uh, um, mine uh, for identifying mines and for for uh, that cannot be converted into 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 uh, into um, a mine disposal vehicle with a charge. In, in addition to the uh, AUVs, uh, mine disposal vehicles, we have also unmanned surface vehicles. And uh, when we use a combination of all of the systems, uh, autonomous underwater vehicles, USVs, mine disposal vehicles, all that can be configured into an unmanned maritime integrated system that can be used to, uh, uh, to, to, to complete 
for mine warfare, mine, uh, mine warfare operations, and this system will enable you to, to do uh, all the steps of uh, mine warfare operation, uh, detection, classification, identification, and disposal. Uh, a miss for the end user is that uh, uh, we're using robots first, uh, first of all, for in particular for mine warfare. The mothership can remain out of the uh, dangerous area, uh, out of the minefield. The other advantage is that you can use uh, at the same time uh, several robots and do uh, tasks in parallel and do simultaneous op operations. For example, when AUVs are doing the survey of um, uh, the seabed, uh, in the meantime, uh, you can deploy um, uh, C-scan vehicle and uh, inspector, for example, for, uh, for doing the identification of the objects that have been uh, detected uh, during a previous mi mission of, uh, of, uh, of an AUV, for example. And uh, the other advantage of using um, this kind of system coming from ECAM Unis in particular is that all the robots have been designed and uh, are manufactured by ECA and allowing to use the same building blocks, the same uh, software modules and uh, that uh, will have an impact on the full life cost because uh, you can have a common spare parts, you can, have, uh, you can easily train uh, one operator using uh, one system to another system in particular. These are just some examples. So you have seen earlier the A18, uh, our uh, mid-size AUV. You can see here the, the uh, A27, the, the large version, larger version of uh, AUV. The A9, a uh, man-portable uh, version of uh, our AUVs. Uh, um, model here of uh, our uh, inspector USV, unmanned surface vehicle. And then uh, the last one here is the uh, one example or one configuration of our uh, swimmer delivery vehicle that is uh, something that is used by, by the Special Forces.